Coggle examples. This is a bonus video to the Coggle tutorial series. I'll put the link to the entire series in the description below this video. And yes, I forgot to talk about the Coggle examples that actually exist. There's a wide library of ready-made mind maps or Coggle diagrams that you can actually copy and use as your own. So let me show you that now. Here we are at the Coggle dashboard. All you need to do is click on gallery and here you'll see a ton of maps. Now, some of them are really big and because of that, they don't look too sexy. But if you scroll down, you'll notice that you have what appears to be an unlimited scroll. And further down, you will find some nicer ones with icons and that kind of thing. OK, so I'm actually going to choose this one here. Why not? Let that load. And you can see that we have read access to the mind map. So I'm going to right click on the screen and just drag down a little bit. And remember that we covered all these features in the tutorial series. If you need to go back and reference any of them. OK, so let's say that we look at this and we like the look of it. We think we can repurpose this into our own mind map. You'll notice here on the top right hand side that you can use this as a template. So if I click on that, it's going to copy that diagram into our workspace. For some reason, it's asking me to sign in. OK, so I'm just going to sign in quickly. And now I have the Coggle mind map or the Coggle diagram, as they like to call it, in my workspace. So I'm going to hide that and hide that. And I can actually edit these things and start to make changes. OK, now, as I said, some of these mind maps are very, very big and they might not be very usable for most people. But it might be worth spending 10 or 20 minutes just scrolling through those mind maps and seeing if you find something that fits your needs. But it's not something I would personally use because, as I say, these mind maps are enormous. I like to use a mind map tool to brainstorm ideas, so I like to start with a blank slate. But nonetheless, some people do want to see Coggle examples, not necessarily to use them, but to get inspired by them or to at least see what's possible, how far you can push this tool. So if that's you, then now you know how to check the Coggle examples right from your Coggle dashboard. Once again, you can check the entire Coggle tutorial series. The link is in the description. But in the meantime, take it easy and I shall see you in another video.